A bicyclist travels with a constant speed of 7 meters per second for 5.7 seconds. All right, in this video, we're going to work on solving constant speed problems. All right, let's, depart, let's start by defining some terms. All right, so S um, stands for speed. We'll actually learn that the line over the top means average, but in this case, we'll go with a constant speed. So speed is how fast an object is traveling. One really important thing with speed is the units are always going to be meters per second or centimeters per second or miles per hour or a distance divided by a time. Really important to pay attention to those units. That'll help you figure out where these give and go. All right, D stands for distance. Distance tells you how far an object traveled. Its units are just going to be meters, like a meter stick is used to measure distance, or centimeters, or something like that. And T stands for time. For time, that's how long an object was moving. And the time is going to be measured in seconds. So just by using those units, we can easily identify where these numbers go. So 7.00 meters per second, that is going to be my constant speed. 5.7 seconds is my time. Again, just looking at those units really tells me where these quantities go. All right, so then I need to solve for the distance. All right, so what this seven meters per second means, we need to define what speed means. So we said speed is how fast, or another way to think about it is how far you're traveling each second. So the first second, that bicyclist traveled seven meters. The next second, another seven meters, and over and over again. But this is 5.7 seconds, so we have to think about this. Adding over and over again is the same thing as multiplying. So our equation is going to be the distance equals average speed times time. So to get this distance, I can just plug in 7 times 5.7, and I get 39.9 as my distance. In positive physics, make sure you keep at least three significant figures. All right, next one says a marble rolls 209 centimeters across the floor with a constant speed of 41.4 centimeters per second. All right, so 209 centimeters, especially by looking at those units, I can tell that that should be my distance. The centimeters by themselves are a unit of distance. Centimeters per second are a unit of speed, so 41.4 is my constant speed. It also said the word speed right there, centimeters per second. Now, to get my time, I can take that equation that I used last time, and I can manipulate it, and that gives me distance, excuse me, time equals distance divided by average speed. So when I do 209 divided by 41.4, I get 5.05 keeping three significant figures, and the units on that are going to be seconds. That's the unit I expect, and when I do centimeters divided by centimeters per second, centimeters is going to cross out, and seconds will end up on the top.